All right, guys, here's a video. Um, be jumping all over the place in this. Uh, it was a really nice day out. Got to work early. So, you can see I had a tree come down. Total my work trailer. Let's just start off with this. Totaled my work trailer. It's right through it. Hit the side of my truck, collapsed the roof in, and hit my car, but a small ding. And that's the car I actually care about the most and just purchased. Not doing good. So I had ordered a 75 gallon tank. Um, I'm upgrading my 29 because it's just, <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was gonna wanna stay in fish tank stuff. So I ended up just ordering it. So normally when you get a regular 70 gallon tank, you can get the tank itself or you can get one with built-in flotration. Now they had one with built-in flotration, flotration and, and it had a thingy there, a dome, and it had two holes in the ground bottom. But it only had two holes, one for the supply, one for the return. You had no secondary drain. So I wasn't cool with that. So I spoke with my fish store and he got me this one. This is a 75 non-tempered, okay? If you're going to drill your own holes, it has to be non-tempered. If you were to drill a tempered glass, the whole sheet would shatter when you cut through it. All right? I bought the brand new Prodigy Prodigy eShops Large, their biggest one. All right? Goes here on the side. It's got two main overflows and then the third one there is your emergency, which will have this sticking up in it, okay? So if those two fail, they do two, so it's quieter for draining. Now, I already cut my holes. This is the first time I've ever drilled into a glass anything. Now, when you buy the eShop stuff, it comes with the bit. That is a glass bit right there. I've never drilled into glass. I do heating and cooling for a living. There's my uh, my truck right there. I drill into a lot of stuff. So I figured no big deal, I can do this myself. It comes with the bit and directions and it came with this template, the most useless template in the world. They're like, take the template, uh, put it in here. Let me just wipe it off, it's a little wet and push it up. There's even an arrow, okay? Push it up all the way. And if you do, you will see my lines don't line up. This hole is, this here is way higher than my cut down here. Now, that probably would have been the spot for it. The problem is, they made the inside so thin. Look at this thing. This is how thin it is. That, that's it. Now, if I did that, it would have been sticking up like this, okay? Um, how are you going to put cover on? How are you going to do anything with it up there? You can't cut all this out. It's part of the tank support. So, I made the marks lower, cut them out. It fits in. And then I found out, well, it does not fit under this lip. Now I am gonna have a screen cover that goes on this. So this is a problem. You can't put it in unless it's flush against the glass so that this side comes out and attaches to there. So here we are. I forced it under the lip. I forced it under, it's still too tight. I'm gonna take a Dremel tool and I'm gonna cut this and this all the way here. And then I'm gonna to have to chisel away like the little lip this little lip here, I'm going to have to chisel that away too with a Dremel, and it should fit fine. Now, here's the deal. eShop's brand are not adjustable typically. Once you put that in there, this is how it works. Let me pull it out so it's easier to see. There it is. And here is your thing. And you have to drill it so it's at the right height. I thought that was ridiculous. So this one, they said, oh, it's adjustable. So this is low. You turn it around. Now it's higher. I was like, that's adjustable? I thought it was gonna be like a sliding system. This is stupid. And then get, look what happens when you pick it up 
and put it straight. It just falls out. <laughs> no brackets, nothing. It just falls out. I mean, really? You stick it in, put it up straight, and it falls out. I mean, come on. That was a very expensive piece, that eShop thing. They're making them all orange now. Ridiculous. I prefer clear. All fancy. It came with the drill bit. Came with everything you need. Even came with a, a cover to put up here for the silence. Now, on my shop where I buy the stuff, he already had one installed, but the old version, which is basically, this is a little thicker, um, and it's not adjustable. Here's the deal. Even after I trim all this out, Get it to fit right. Okay, and I did choose to put it here because where this tank is going in my room, I already have a hole in my floor and I'm gonna have to extend it bigger to apply three, four drain, three drains and one return. So I'll cut that bigger. The problem is I'm gonna have to trim all this. And then here comes the last thing. Even with this set at the tallest spot up, it's barely going to clear this. It's going to be like right on the line or below, I think, or right there. I did this per directions. If I put it where they told me to, it wouldn't even be possible to install this. So eShop, if you're watching this, this was a terrible design. The template does not work on a tank with a ridge. The directions state nothing of the sort. Here they are here. Directions were very basic. Place the template, mark, draw a circle, cut. I mean, come on, really? I went in line. There's nothing on this unit. It's a brand new unit. There's nothing on YouTube. I did all of it myself. Um, thankfully, I'm not a complete idiot. And I realized if I put the template up, these holes would have been up here. And then my top couldn't go on because it would be sticking up here. And I don't think it would work either since the overflow would be up there. So, pretty disappointing. Holes are there. Nothing I can do. $270-something dollar tank. The holes are here. They're permanent. There's nothing I can do. I'm going to make it work. I'm going to trim this out on the edging. And then I'm going to trim out that little lip right there. Not the top, but just right there. And it should fit perfectly. Because it does fit under here. So, I think it will work. But I don't know where my height's going to be. As I thought when they said adjustable, you could adjust it as high and low as you want. Not one inch or inch and a half, which, you know, that's a $200 eShop thing. Pretty pissed. All right. This tank is heavy as can be, as it is not a tempered glass. It's thick glass. And it had to be like that. As I mentioned, the ones with the built-in filtration... Would have been great. It came out the bottom though, which I didn't like. Because let's say the silicone wall starts leaking. It could drain your entire tank out on you. That's terrible. Should always come out up here. That way if anything happens, it's only going to drain to here and your fish will live. So anyways, that is this here. That's the tank. Um, I'm going to coat the back of it. I was going to spray paint it black because I just wanted black. But once you spray paint it, you're kind of stuck. So I bought this rubber adhesive that sprays on. And in the future, you can just peel it off. So I will do that. Maybe I'll do a video of it. Maybe I won't. Just show the after effects. I'm not good at filming while I do stuff. It's all my first time. So it really looks terrible watching me do it. But anyways, I'm going to work on that tomorrow. So let me continue this video inside on the stand I got. One second. 